everyone, this is Ina with Inichka Chef. Welcome to my kitchen. Look how beautiful berries. It's a blueberry season. We went to pick up blueberries another day with my children and it was so much fun. As always, same place. We like to, we like to go and spend half day um, wandering around bushes. And <laughs> luckily we got one basket of those beautiful, sweet, delicious blueberries. And I will show you today how to make some sweet, sweet <laughs> treat. It's a galette. Galette, it's an Italian, I believe Italian pastry. It's a rustic dessert. It's very simple, easy. It's my go for dessert if I have some, uh, um, some kind of barbecue dinner or really sometimes after, after dinner, uh, on weekend I like to make some fruit galette. And why not do with blueberries? Use any fruit in this application if you like. But I'll show you how I'm, um, how I'm doing with blueberries. But before we start, I would like to ask you, please give me like and subscribe my channel if you haven't. Share with your friends, family, and check below the description a uh, similar related recipe. I have done this blueberry pretty much anything I can possibly imagine. If you have more ideas, please leave a comment. My previous video, if you watch, I made blue barbecue chicken. So yes, blueberry can be treated as a um, in savory component. You can use for blueberry vinaigrette. I have that recipe too on my website. I will link below. You can do so many things with blueberries besides sweet, but today it's a sweet. For this recipe, we need all-purpose flour to make a crust. And this is uh, almost like a pie crust. It's a very flaky dough, almost pie crust, but not quite. <laughs> the difference is, is the egg yolk, which is will make more richer and more pliable dough versus super crumbling <laughs> pie dough, pie crust. We will need butter, nice and cold. Don't worry, we're not going to use this amount of butter. <laughs> we need just 80 grams. It's not a lot. And pinch of salt and a little bit of powdered sugar. It's small amount, one and a half tablespoon. So don't worry about. To make this crust, all you need all-purpose flour and cold cold butter. As I mentioned, you can use traditional way, kind of like a pie pastry cutter. You can use food processor, how I did when I make um, my pie crust generally, and we have done on my channel a lot. But today I want to show you another trick what you can do. I want to be different today. <laughs> I will use an old-fashioned grinder. My sister have done that way. And cold, cold butter. Grind. <laughs> and that way we can incorporate into the flour. We need 80 grams and one and a half cup of flour. Eighty-one grams. It's all right. <laughs> Eighty-one gram is fine. And now you kind of rub inside your flour, so it's nice and powdery. And start great. Kind of like you do carrots, right? And it's very fast, easy. And if you don't have food processors, this is, I think, the way to go. The way butter can be incorporated for many recipes. And to this, we need a pinch of salt. I love play with dough. So sometimes when I have my hands on dough, it makes me happy. I, I like that. <laughs> it's like meditation for me. And a little bit of this sugar. Mix all together. And now we're going to add some wet com components. You see all butter incorporate beautifully. Now we add in egg yolk and 30 milliliters of ice water. Try to make like nice circle <laughs> will be later on easier to work you can see little pieces of butter like spark spark spiking here and there you see it's bottom 
looks like nice and beautiful. Now wrap in plastic wrap and stick in the fridge for a bit, 20 minutes while we're working on blueberries. And now we need blueberries. We need five cups of blueberries, it's a lot of blueberries. So what I like to do for the, for the texture uh, of this beautiful fruity and slightly creamy filling because we're going to use a little bit of cream fresh. If you don't have cream fresh, which is you should have, I have a recipe on my website how to make it. It's super easy. I have three different ways how to make your own cream fresh that can suit everybody, even the busiest people. But if you don't have, buy um, mascarpone cheese. That will be perfect here. And we don't need a lot, just a little bit give creaminess on the bottom. Um, sometimes I use ricotta cheese, but I found cream fresh it works better and mascarpone. So for the texture, I like to uh, break some, uh, bruise some berries. Probably half of them I will bruise and half I will leave as it is. Mesh potato smashes work perfect here. Little more. I think that's fine. <laughs> that's perfect. Also, when they bruise, they can fit more, right? We always want more filling. And to that, I'm adding turbinara sugar. About one half. Turbinara sugar or any sugar, <laughs> I like to use this one here, it will pull out some moist, of course, from berries, especially the, the one is broken, right? And to catch all this juice, we add in two tablespoons of cornstarch. I love berries, I love blueberries. And now for the flavor, blueberry lemon goes well together. It's no surprise to anybody, right? So I'm going to use some lemon zest only. Make sure only yellow part. You don't want white, it's bitter. And another main surprise ingredient for you is thyme. Thyme and lemon and blueberries they just they just meant to be together <laughs> we don't need a, a lot just two or three and thyme is such a good herb it's so multi multi-purpose and i i can't even imagine cooking without thyme i love thyme and mix all together until nice everything incorporates but you see them Fragrant berries with beautiful lemon and thyme. Remember, this is rustic recipe. It's a not fancy dessert. It, you don't have to be perfect. All right, now it looks like almost the way we like to see. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Into preheated oven to 400 degrees. Make sure you rack on it. On the middle of the oven, so not bottom, not top, middle has to be. And try to arrange this cream fresh or mascarpone if you use just little, but you don't need a lot. A couple of nights ago, we went to a restaurant downtown, in um, and that restaurant famous for pizza, and they're one of the. Uh, best pizza in my opinion is with cream fresh. 
and I absolutely love it. Just gives extra cream and it's cream fresh. It's so uh, useful to have in the kitchen. You can use for cream when you need cream on any piece, any sauce, pan sauce. If you need um, sour cream, you can use. You can if you in the baking application right now. But you can use for so many reasons and ways, and it just the use the uses are endless for cream fresh. And never mention it has probiotic, right? Now we're adding the filling and try to get um, juice behind. Try to use uh, leave your this juice behind. Try to scoop just without. Probably enough, but so much want to put all. <laughs> the more the better, right? Now what you do, just fold. Lots of berries. <laughs> This recipe excellent with strawberries, with um, figs I made, it's so many different combinations. And just because I have, why not a little more? <laughs> and now we need to egg wash this. Pinch of salt. That's easier to break than egg, egg whites. And a little bit of turbinara sugar, just a tiny bit. Kind of so imperfect. <laughs> and I like that way. It looks even more rustic, more homey. Um, easy dessert. about 20 minutes I have a little bit left sauce behind it's cornstarch sugar and blueberries and I'm going to make a little sauce just to drizzle on top why not <laughs> and I'm going to serve with uh, whipped cream of course or vanilla ice cream We'll see what I will have that day. <laughs> Some lemon juice. And yes. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait, but unfortunately you have to wait a few minutes before to cut. The only thing is missing right now, it's a nice dollop of whipped cream, cold whipped cream, or oh, ice cream, vanilla ice cream, right? ultra thin crust the lemon zest really doing a great job highlight that citrus flavor and citrus complements this blueberries a lot 
It's a blueberry. Oh, it's just so good. I hope I inspire you to make this dessert today. Make today <laughs> for your family, for friends. Everyone would love this dessert. This nice dollop of ice cream. Oh, it's, just, it's just so good. Needs that little creaminess, little touch of cream fresh. Oh, this cream is just so much different. <laughs>